Hello, and welcome to another session on using Blender for video editing. Last time, I showed you how you can create your own masks inside of the movie clip editor uh, in the masking workspace. Today, we're going to make use of those masks inside of the video sequence editor by applying them to video strips. Before we get into the video sequence editor, let's quickly recap what we have here. Uh, right now, we are looking at the Elder Sprite mask, and it's just this right here. We have um, the white line that represents the mask that we drew, and then this green line represents the feathering. So we're going to have a solid application of this mask where it is uh, completely white, and then as it fades to black, that's where we have that nice transition. Let me go click on mask display and uncheck overlay so you can see this is what we expect to happen so by applying this mask it will affect the face area of this character okay we also created another mask so i'll click here and choose this one three sprite mask and you can see we have added circles uh, and a square to cover the faces of these three sprites here. So we're going to start by using this Elder Sprite mask inside of the video sequence editor. So here we go. We just have to click onto the video editing uh, workspace button. Okay, and now we're back inside the video sequence editor. So what we're going to do first is apply the Elder Sprite mask to this character and give it a Gaussian blur. Now, there are two ways to apply a mask, um, and you only really can see the difference uh, between those two when we start animating. Right now, we're just going to stay on this single frame, frame 4951. So the explanations might not make total sense right now. So I'll just go ahead and say that there, I'm going to show you two different ways to apply the mask. The first is going to be using an adjustment layer. So we'll start by adding an adjustment layer, and I'll do that now. So there's our adjustment layer. Um, it is It basically uh, collects everything that exists below it, and then we can make adjustments to that. So with this method, we added our adjustment layer. We're going to add our mask to this adjustment layer. All right, and then we'll do a Gaussian blur on top of that. So let's go ahead now and click on modifiers, this modifiers tab here, now that we have our adjustment layer selected. And here we can click on add strip modifier. This is the exact same as when we were using uh, video sequence editor strips as mask modifiers. So we say add strip modifier, go down to mask. And here's where it's different. Now, and let me uh, open, expand this out a little bit so we can see. Where it says mask input type instead of strip, we click on mask. And now we click in this empty space here and we select one of the masks that we created. In this case, we want Elder Sprite. Okay, so that is now selected. And one more thing while we're here. By default, it says mask time is relative. Normally, I like to use absolute. Uh, and again, this is for animation. But, so we don't need it right now, but I'll go ahead and click it anyway. Uh, so now we are done with the application of the mask. So if I click uh, on this adjustment layer, you'll see that it is in effect. So it is only showing us through this lens here, uh, that one section that we allowed for. Let me jump back to previous marker and finish this off we will add the Gaussian blur now. So with the adjustment layer still selected, click add, effect strip, Gaussian blur, and let's go ahead and zoom in right now so we can see this better once it actually applies. Oh, that's not quite enough. Okay, zoom in a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so with Gaussian blur selected, we click on the strip tab here and we can change these settings. So I'll set that to, let's say, 20 and 20. There you go. So now you can tell that the Gaussian blur is definitely blurring this character's face. And 
there is a, a lesser blur happening over here. Uh, and then beyond that, there is nothing. So if I click specifically on the strip, we can see that in action, right? And that's, that's all there is to it. Okay, so that's how you can apply a Gaussian blur to just a portion of your video content by using a mask. Uh, next, I want to show you how you can apply a mask to simply remove that portion of uh, content from the video. Uh, when you do this, then the result would be that that portion becomes completely transparent. Anything that is underneath your strip will show through. Uh, in this case, there is nothing uh, that's underneath, uh, meaning that in our rendered video, it will just be black. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, I am going to make a copy of this scene. And I'll just call this removal. And I will get rid of these two strips because this time we are going to act directly on the video strip. Okay, so once again, I can go to the modifiers tab, click add strip modifier, mask, so click on mask as input type and select the elder sprite mask and go to absolute just to be ready for animation if I were to do that. Okay, so here we go. We can see that we've got the mask applied and let me hit the home key so we can see the whole thing just to make it all the more obvious. Uh, what actually ended up happening in this case is uh, not quite what we need. If the idea was to censor out the face, we have totally failed. Uh, instead of censoring the face, we've censored everything else and we can see the face. So what to do in this case is we have to go back into the movie clip editor and change the mask setup. So let's do that now. I'll go back to the masking workspace and we do have the Elder Sprite mask selected. Now, how to make that change? It's over here. So if we go to the mask layers section of this pane, it's this button here that says restrict view, invert the mask, black slash white. So we just need to click on that. Let's go ahead and click that. You can see it turns blue. And now we can go back to video editing uh, and nothing has appeared to happen because we need to perform a refresh. So there's two ways to do it. You can either go to the view menu and click refresh all, or just press control R, which is the hotkey for it. I'll go ahead and click here. And there you go. So now you can see, we, we can see everything except for the face. So we see instead this checkerboard uh, pattern, which indicates that it is transparent. It will be rendered as complete black if uh, we don't add any other strips or content underneath our video strip. Okay, so those are two ways you can apply a mask uh, as a Gaussian blur or to remove content from your strip. But this was an easy example. If we try to do the same thing with the other mask that we set up, it won't work as expected. And the reason is because we set it up as a mask with three layers. So let's go and do that now. So let me zoom back out so we can see these three characters here. And let's try adding another mask. We have our strip still selected. We are still in the modifiers tab. So let's go ahead and click add strip modifier and then mask. And now we scroll down because now we have a new mask that we can configure. So again, we click on mask as input type, click in here, choose the other mask, three sprite mask. And again, set it to absolute just to prepare for animation. And here we see again, um, right now we're only seeing the faces instead of getting the opposite effect because we need to invert the mask. So let's go back to masking and we will select the other mask. All right. and. Um, it's a little bit trickier here because of the fact that we have 
three layers to work with. So to make it more obvious of what we're doing, let's go to mask display and choose overlay. So we can see that from these three different layers, we are getting these white areas and we want the opposite. We want it to be all white except for these three areas. So let's make those adjustments. We'll start at the top with this first one here, left sprite. And the first thing we do is click on this button again to invert that. So now this looks correct. So we have pretty much all white except for our first layer. Now we need to deal with the other two. So now we'll click on middle sprite, the second layer. And this time I need to do two things. Once again, I have to click on this button to invert the mask. But now I also have to click on blend and change it to multiply. Okay, so now we have two black areas. And finally, same thing for the third layer and all of any and all of your remaining layers. So click on that, click on invert, and then click on blend, change it to multiply, and there you go. So now our mask is configured properly. Let's go back to video editing. And at this time, I'll just hit Control R to refresh. And there you go. So let's take a closer look. So there is Mr. No Face 1, No Face 2, No Face 3, No Face 4. So four No Faces. Uh, and there you have it. That's how you can use masks inside of the video sequence editor after you've created them in the movie clip editor. So that's it. Hope you did like that. If you did, please do like and subscribe so you can see more content when it comes. The next one is going to be how we animate these masks over time, which we definitely would need to do for any subject that moves like this elder sprite over here. Uh, as soon as we, we move even a few frames over, already the mask is no longer working. So that's coming up and stay tuned for that. Bye now. Okay, so that's how you can apply a Gaussian blur to just a portion of your strip of your video content. All we have to do is refresh this and it'll be all right. So there's two ways to do that. You can either press Control R on your keyboard or go up to the rendering. Uh, wait, that's the wrong one. Or go up to the render menu. Uh, nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Where is it? I oh. uh, hope you did like that. If you did, please do subscribe and what? No. Like. Like, thank you.